Hello everyone, welcome to my other video. So today I'll be talking about how to use MongoDB in your Ruby on Rails project. First, make sure that you have already installed Rails and MongoDB in your system. So I can check the version of the rail using Rails space hyphen B. And if I open uh, this compass, I can simply write one command show DVs to check if my MongoDB is working or not okay so uh, right here i'm going to create one new rails application so for that i will write rails new and the application name will be blog so uh, you can see that my rails application has been created and now i'm writing cd space blog to enter into the project directory and then writing code space dot to open vs code so at first inside VS Code, you have to open this gem file. So in this gem file, I will put one gem that is Mongo ID so that I can use MongoDB inside this project. So I will write gem and then Mongo ID. And you can also put one uh, command like uh, why you are using this gem. So uh, just write use for mongodb now open your terminal or command prompt and simply write bundle space install this command will install all the gems which is declared inside your gem file so after the installation i will generate one model that is user so i will write rails space generate space model space user and also you can provide all the fields like name and email okay now i will uh, generate one configuration file for mongodb so for that i have to write rails space g g is for generate space mongo id colon config and if you press enter it will show you where this config file has been created now going back to the code editor you can find this mongodb config file inside config directory so here I'm changing the database name to blog. Now let's go to the user model that I have created just right now. So you can see this user model. Now I will simply open my terminal. From this terminal, I will insert some data to database. So here I will write rails space console so that I can access to this console. And here I will create one object of new user so i will write user equals to user dot new and inside parenthesis i will pass the name and the email and if you press enter you can see one object of user has been created now to save this object you can simply write user dot save and you can see it is showing that blog dot insert and it is successful and now i'm going to insert or uh, i'm going to create another object of user so i'm just changing these fields and pressing enter and i will simply write again user dot save and if i press enter and i'm going back to this uh, mongodb compass and after refreshing I can get all the data that I have stored just right now. So for now, my job will be accessing this data inside my controllers and view. So for that, I have to create one controller that is users. So uh, go back to this uh, PowerShell or terminal or command prompt, whatever you say. So you have to write rails space generate space controller space users. Now let's go back to this uh, code editor. And uh, first I'm just changing the route uh, according to this new controller. So I have to write root and I will fix the root as users controller. And I will point to this index action. Okay now if you go inside the controllers directory inside app and you can find users controller 
so here i will simply create one method named index so this is actually one action so here i will simply return all the users so i will write user equals to user dot all this all method will fetch all the data from this users collection and it will uh, be accessible inside my view so inside views directory you can find one folder named users so inside that folder you have to create one file index.html.erb now inside this file i will simply render all the users those are available inside my database and uh, i will loop through the users that i will get from the controller so uh, using dot each loop uh, i'm just uh, looping through all the users okay now i will be able to render all the user details inside my web page so go back to this uh, command prompt or powershell and write rails space s to start the server so wait for some time and you can see that this uh, rail server is running at port 3000 on localhost so going back to the browser uh, if i just go inside localhost port 3000 i can see the list of users so in this way you can perform any CRUD operations using this MongoID gem. I hope this video has helped you. So thank you for watching. Please consider subscribing and liking this video if you really like this video. Thank you.